started. Max had a band called Black Black Cherry. Any idea? Um, anyway, and I and I had a band called managed a band called Factory. Who later became Stanky Ground. All right, oh and both of, bo both bands got thrown out of their parents' basements for rehearsing. And Max Max grew up in South Orange and had an old uh, uh, garage that was uh, you know not attached, an unattached garage uh, to um, to his house. So um, I remember going with Max, and we made a deal with his with with his mom, who was a very cool lady, uh, that they didn't use it as a garage anymore. That uh, if uh, we uh, our side, not not Max's band, uh, put up the money to to, uh, to insulate it and soundproof it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The two bands would share the, uh, uh, the, the 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 rehearsal space. So that's how I, I go back before the E Street Band with with Max, you know, yeah. uh, you know, and I was very friendly with David Sanchez, and I was, uh, you know, very friendly with Clarence. Uh, you know, another Al Air story is yeah. Clarence, you know, managed when he had the club in Red Bank to get himself in some kind of trouble with the. Uh, with, with the uh, state liquor authority, um, I think it was you know letting twelve-year-olds drink or something like that. But, uh, uh, and uh, I hooked him up with Al, and uh, Al got him out of trouble. Uh, and I think he only had to close for two or three weeks, and then they let him reopen. Uh, but uh, you know, I had, a, I, had a, I had a real friendship with with, with most of these guys. Uh, and you know, when I I called Landon out to tell him we were going to make this special marquee, um, he said, "Well, I want to see the artwork." Uh, uh, First, so I said, oh, "It works, Mark. Work. Well, you know." It's, it, 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 it. Anyway, uh, um, and I don't know whether you remember this, but Landau refused to let us say Bruce Springsteen in the E Street Band. And if you look at that marquee, you do not see the words E Street Band anywhere. Right. All right. You do see the guy's name. Yes. And that that well, how that happened is, so I objected to that. All right. And uh, didn't think I'd get a hard time from. From, from Landau. But that's when Landau, and if you think about the Springsteen history, there was a time, as time went on, that, first of all, the albums very rarely said the E Street Band. They didn't until the live album. And right. that upset okay. the band a yes, lot. Yes, it upset the lot. band a lot. Yeah. And, and the band did not get treated, I mean, nobody will admit this, I'll be called a liar, you know, from now until hell freezes over, but the band did not get along with Landau, did not like the strictness to it. Somebody was telling me here earlier, um, you know, Bruce stepped away from the running of the band, not musically, all right, but from a business point of view, lifted all to, to Landau. And Landau has decided that the band wasn't, wasn't worthy of Bruce, um, you know, that, that, that the guys in the band weren't good enough musicians to be, to, to, to be, yeah, to be with Bruce. Uh, and, and so, um, you know, there, and there were even were a couple of tours that the E Street Band didn't play. Uh, on and uh, there was solo records. There was there was stuff that they never they never got the credit. Well, of course, they're one of the greatest bands in the history of, of rock and roll, and and remain so. Um, so I begged John Landau. I couldn't get anywhere would put an E Street band up there, which would have made them all just happy. They, that would have been fine. That's who they were. That's who they are. Um, but he let me uh, put the guys' names, you know, up there, and that's you know how the marquee. Uh, Got design. I had nothing to do with designing it. I can't, you know. Artworks, artworks. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> How about those shows themselves? Do you remember oh, any, yeah. any memories from those shows? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 And, uh, I don't remember which one got broadcast. Do you guys? The first one or the last one? First. Uh, the first one. The first one. The first night. Seventy-eight. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Um, it's around his birthday. That's all I remember. Yeah. They, they, they were. They were. They were, they were magical. Those shows. I mean, because. You know, there was, there was, there was this, there, there was this, uh, um, he had broken in, he had been in an arena. See, the Capitol closed in 88, really because Arena Rock was in its heyday. And there weren't very many acts playing theaters anymore. Uh, you know, an act would rather play second bill on an arena show than headline a, a theater. So we were running out of shows to do, and, you know, uh, I got offered a fair amount of money um, uh, for, the, for the place, and so... Um, uh, we closed it. I regret it because if it was open today, it would still be, you know, be huge. Yeah, right be now. a hot shit so place to play. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, uh, but uh, um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, those shows were magical. They were, and, and and you know what? I haven't listened to them, you know, in a long, long time. 
but they were magical for a reason other than just if they if they were played perfectly. And I, I don't remember. I think it's more the dancing it. look. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but but uh, <laughs> it was Bruce. Uh, Paying homage to Jersey, he didn't yeah. need to be playing the 3,500 3, seat theater, you know, at that point. Um, and I think he still had a lot, you know, he still was involved in making the business decisions. As time went on a little bit more, he wasn't at all. So uh, yeah, they were special.